let's build a game app. Tiled is a 2D level editor for making tile maps. You can get started with tile image or images and tile installed. Download Tile from the official Tile site, mapeditor.org. The download button takes you to the itch.io download page. You can donate or get a free version. Select your OS and install. On your desktop, create a master folder that will house all your project files. Transfer your map art here as well. Your tile image should be a collage of images, each the same width and height. You can also have art of differing sizes that might act as, for example, collectibles or your player. When you open Tile for the first time, this is the opening screen. Create a new project with any name and save it to your master folder, then click New Map. Most projects can keep the default map settings, and these can be edited later in the development. The pixel width and height will be the width and height of a single image on your tile collage, not the entire collage itself. The map size, width, and height will scale by the tile size, and this size will be up to you. This is the map editor screen. Go ahead and save this file by going to File, Save As, and whatever name you like. Here's a debugging tip. In the event you accidentally mess up your panels and your tile layout gets super weird, you can go to the Views and Toolbar and at the bottom click Reset Default Layer. You can also check any of the listed boxes to make the corresponding panels visible. Navigate your map holding your mouse wheel. Hold Control to zoom in and out. To make the map fit the available preview, under View, click Fit Map Preview. The Tile Set panel provides samples of your tile art. Click New Tile Set to import images, give them a name, and locate the images. We'll work with the type based on File Set Image, save, and watch a new file load into your project as a new tab. Navigate back to the Map tab. In the event you close the tab, you can always reopen it in the project panel. You can add images by a collection type, ours is blank, so let's drag and drop in images, or use the plus and minus sign to add and remove images. We'll add the player image as an object. The image came in really large, and we can zoom in and out holding control and scroll. Tile has different layer types. Two particularly useful are tile and object layer. Tile layers are mostly the non-moving world, and object layers allow map objects to be positioned freely. For now, let's add another tile layer and two object layers, ground, obstacles, coins, and player. You can change the name by double-clicking the existing name and overwriting. You can protect layers by using the lock icon. Let's work on the ground layer by adding tiles. Click on the brush tool at the top to paint tiles and select a tile image in the tile set panel. Click a tile slot to paint. You can click or click and drag or hold shift while moving to create a line from one point to another. You can also use the bucket icon to fill in a large area. Let's lock the ground layer and unlock the obstacle layer. We'll add in some new tiles. Use the randomizer by holding control over the tiles you want, then click the randomizer image. Each click will add a random image from the current selection. You can delete with the eraser and know only the layer or layer selected will be deleted. You can flip and rotate images with the X, Y, and Z keys. To prevent layer mapping mistakes, frequently examine layers isolated with the eye toggle button. Adding to object layers is similar to tile layers. Click the image icon and add an image anywhere on the map. Use the select object button to move them, resize them, and hold control to resize with perfect scaling. To add custom properties to objects, select the object or objects and press the plus sign. Select the type and assign a property name and the value in the panel. Use the pencil and minus icon to edit and delete as needed. Let's add our player with an animation looping. In the player file, click the camera. You can scale the viewport, drag and drop images into the white panel for animating. The preview window can be adjusted as well as the frame speed duration. In the map, check out the image with the film ribbon overlay, drag it and scale it in the object layer like any other object layer asset. Nice! This is how you create a simple map and tile. To learn how to add this to a 2D game, check out the link videos. Oh yeah, and if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, subscribe for future content.